allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't mean that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am the Global Citizen. Um, for those of you that are returning, thank you for coming back. And for those of you that are new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, so basically, I've started this new journey. Um, I am going to be pursuing Canadian permanent residency through Express Entry. I'm going to be doing it all on my own. I currently live in Australia right now, and it is my aim to uh, migrate to Canada in particular in Alberta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start splitting these videos into sort of different sections. So I think with this video, we could call this step, step one video. And this is um, a step that I've already undertaken towards getting my express entry for Canada. And this is something that I was advised to do. So this is all stuff that can be found on the official Canadian government website. I will leave a link in the description below. And basically, these are just some of the documents that you need to have before you can actually apply for and get Canadian permanent residency. And one of the very first thing that you will need to do is a credential um, assessment. And basically what a credential assessment is, it's just a way of the Canadian government assessing your um, educational skills that you have. So that could be a diploma, that could be a degree. And basically what they do is they'll take that and they'll look at it and see whether or not it is equal and equivalent to a Canadian um, degree. And basically, I think this is just there to sort of create some sort of level of educational standards with, with standards within their economy. So obviously, you have you know migrants from many or immigrants from many different parts of the world with many different educational systems. This is just a way that they can sort of bring this together um, within Express Entry and actually validate and say that okay, X, Y, and Z um, candidates have this level of education and this is how it ranks in comparison to our level of education here in Canada. So that's literally the first step that I believe you should do. Now, of course, I, I don't know if I have mentioned this before, I am not an immigration age agent by any means. So if you're looking for an immigration agent, I am not one. However, what I am is I'm just an individual like yourself looking to get Canadian um, permanent residency through Express Entry and I, I know how to do this all by myself and I'm obviously just making these videos to um, help other people out there like myself that want to get Canadian P permanent residency but obviously do not want to spend money on expensive immigration agents and so forth. So with that being said, this is actually the first step that I took. So. Um, as mentioned in my first video, which I did post, I think last week, I, um, I am a Bachelor of Engineering in Petroleum Engineering. I got this degree here in Australia and basically the first step that I took was get my credential assessment done. Um, so there are a number of bodies that do this and again, this is something that can be found on the official Canadian uh, government webpage. I will link that as well. And you've got a number of options and the one that I ended up going with is ICAS. So the one that I've personally gone with is called ICAS or International Credential Assessment Services of Canada. And that's where I've sent my documents. So if you go onto their website, they'll have a whole bunch of um, prerequisite documents that they want. They want um, a certain number of documents in physical form and I think some of them they'll want them in digital form as well. They have everything that, that, that you need on that website. I'll also leave a link down below. But again, as mentioned before, they are not the only body that does this. And actually, I think there are about four or five of them. Uh, my only issue with ICAS, um, I am working with them now, and I think their turnover times are really, really long. And I think that's more to do with the coronavirus right now and them not being able to work from, um, from their offices. So all their employees are working from home. But, um, and they're based in Ontario, so 
that that is something that's becoming a bit of an issue for me at the moment because they're basically all that I'm waiting for at the moment. However, I just wanted to make this video just to point that out that the very first step that you really want to take when getting getting your express entry for Canadian permanent residency done is you want to get your credential assessment done. Um, first and foremost, there's no way around it because with express entry they will have to find out a way to evaluate your um, credentials in terms of your education and your experience and that sort of thing. And these bodies will be able to do your credential assessment for you. So that's video number two guys and this is step one of getting your express entry um, done for Canadian permanent residency all on your own. Uh, I'll be coming up with step two which is um, another video that I'll, that I'll be making probably sometime next week and basically all the steps to follow. So you, again as mentioned if you're new to the channel make sure you're subscribed. We are immigrating to Canada um, I'm currently in Australia right now and I will we will be um, documenting everything and all the processes that I have to do um, in order to get there. Um, I have consulted with an immigration agent however I technically did not need to but it was very helpful and I'll explain to you why you might also need to do that. However one thing is important to point out which is that immigration agents are just normal people like yourself and I like yes they might know a bit more about how these immigration uh, programs for a given country work and so forth however they are still just people and ultimately all you're paying for is them helping you accumulate the right documents that you need and then basically them just bringing those documents together in a computer uploading them and clicking send which is something that you can easily do all by yourself that's why I strongly and highly recommend that if you're a person that's interested in getting express entry, do a lot of research, you know, Google, Google's your friend, look, we've got the internet now, you can search anything you want, do some extensive research, figure out what program you want to go on, how you want to get there, if your qualifications or skills are valuable in Canada, and just do it by yourself. You'll save yourself thousands of dollars and really, you don't really need anyone to do that for you. You can do it all by yourself. So why not, right? Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I'm the Global Citizen. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos that I'll upload in the upcoming weeks. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's go to Canada, guys. Let's do this. Mm -hmm.